Gonna pace back and forth. What am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please let him go. Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? <laughs> Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's. Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit. The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So, is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Mm. Shrug shoulders. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? Delivery truck. That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be a lot more difficult than... Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. Dun 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 dun. Inca Singer's husband. All we know about him is his occupation. But I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is... It's not far from here. 
I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Is that smoke? An accident? Oh. It's a pretty hefty accident. There's like smoke billowing like that. Dojima-san, are you alright? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him drive past me, I gave chase and he. Damn it. And where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him. Please. But how? Oh yeah, maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... Wait a sec! We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san.
You guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> Nanako, she's my reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. Oh. <sighs> she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most, I'm... I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Dochi, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah, this is it. Let's go all out and get it done! I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again, and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on! We can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Oh, by the way, you, you ranked up your social link. Let's go, Sensei! I mean, we're here, might as well. Look at this thick fog. Does this have something to do with all the fuss about the fog lately? Something's weird in here. I think all the commotion in town has been affecting this world, too. Well, we need to hurry now. Rise, can you tell which direction Nanako-chan is in? I sense her... that way. Wow, what's this warm feeling? Senpai, we need to save her. Let's go! Chance? It's so beautiful. It's like a storybook vision of heaven. Like heaven, huh? Deep down, Nanako-chan must really miss her. I'm sure she does. She's only a child. We have to do everything in our power to rescue her. Of course! We're gonna rescue Nana-chan no matter what! 
We can find Namatame later and give him what's coming to him then. The knuckle sandwich. First, we need to rescue Nanako-chan. So I thought there was like more exposition there, but anyways, we gotta head back. <laughs> Cause we gotta like, a first pet the fox. He doesn't seem too pleased. Well, shit. And then we'll do some fusing. Probably do that off camera. And then basically next time we're gonna go save Nanago. Or at least hopefully, at least try to. In one go, maybe I don't know. Who knows? Either way, that's the plan for next time. <laughs>